Hello and welcome along and welcome to this first look at Crawford Farms. This map is by Rubberburner89. Uh, it is based on a real location on the east coast of Canada. Um, and he's used uh, Google Earth images and uh, correct terrain levels uh, to represent the area as closely as possible. Um, I don't know if that means that this is... Uh, using the full dem method of uh, of creating this map but uh, certainly uh, it uh, it seems to have been created on a real location um it is a map actually you might recognize the name of this map uh this was originally released in farming simulator 17 and has been completely overhauled and a whole load of extra details added for its conversion to FS19. Um, looking at the description, it's got custom NPCs for lands and transport missions. So if we have a look at that, we've got, uh, it's got its own NPCs for those. Those do look like, I think though, I think by that it must mean the names. Uh, yeah, I'm thinking it's the names, not so much the images. Those look like the standard images uh, or standard in-game images to me for those but those are yeah not the same names so that's quite cool um we seasons ready so you can use seasons on this map and uh, i'm sure there must be a good canadian geo out there uh for use on this map i'm guessing it doesn't include its own geo built into it uh, as nothing is mentioned about that uh, there's a line purchase station lots of animated objects 40 fields from small to large and we'll get to look at those in a minute along with 25 forestry areas so yeah we are going to be looking this is an absolutely cracking forestry map then by the sounds of it uh, three main farms uh it's got animal pen extension support uh let's have a look at this map then shall we uh it is so as it says there are more than 40 fields uh maximum number i can see here is actually uh it it is sorry not more than 40 fields it is 40 fields 40 uh, field is down there and you can see what it means by there's lots of forestry areas all this stuff around the edges here and vast swathes through it here and everything those are all forestry areas so lots to pick from and i'm guessing yes you can buy those forestry areas starting from some fairly small ones down here by the looks of things up to some great big whacking ones up here so yeah there's quite a bit and it looks like you start with a few areas of forestry actually on new farmer which is uh what we're on now so uh looking at these the smallest field or the smallest area you can purchase 31 that oh no is that a tiny area down there no it's not there are there are a few like the side of the road here that's twenty eight thousand. so it looks like there's some very cheap areas that you could buy on here if you wanted to start from scratch smallest area with an actual field in it looks to be about sixty one thousand uh field five oh no forty two thousand so yeah we've got we've got some some fairly cheap start from scratch stuff on here as well um which is uh pretty cool i'm liking the look of that uh it looks like areas only have single fields in them so there's no multiple field purchases uh on here at all uh smallest forest area would appear to be that one at thirty two thousand maybe yeah 30 so there's there's a lot of options here for doing start from scratch uh you start with what one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven areas uh when you start this uh on this and they so you probably start with a good one and a half to two million maybe if you're lucky i think it's probably closer to the one to one and a half million uh for land so if you wanted to to sell off a bit of land to buy more equipment to begin with on new farmer uh that is a that is very very possible should we have a look around this yard and we're going to be doing this old door today in uh in 82 squared studios uh fantastic tlx uh we've got a virtual farmer colored one ready to go here being an american map or being a north american map i should say 
Uh, I wanted to do it in something that, uh, well, the Land Rover didn't seem appropriate today. Uh, so we've got a little bit of barn for decoration, uh, along with just a, a tipping area by the looks of things. Uh, we've got a bale trailer behind here. We will go through all the equipment at the end of the video uh, just to, to show you guys. But you can see there, quite a nice uh, section of equipment. Is that a potato harvester? That's brilliant. Uh, water over here. I don't know if that's a water refill point. Uh, it could well be the placeable one. Um, along with a pressure washer. Uh, then up here, this is where you've got your sheep. And it looks like you start with animals on this map. That is pretty nice. Yeah, you do. You start with a stock of animals on here in New Farmer. That, that I like a lot. Um, so uh, this is sheep farm here. That's obviously the drop-off or purchase point. Uh, this must be where your wool generates. Up here, it's just sort of a general storage area, I think. Down to... Oh, I remember. So I did do a review of this in uh, FS17. And I remember the bale... Yeah. So you start off with some bales. There's a nice area around here. You've got lots of anime. There's a lot of nice stuff with this farm. Uh, do these doors close? That did sound like something was happening. Doesn't look like these doors on this barn close. Uh, looks like you start with some uh, seeds and some solid fertilizer as well. Ah, uh, but yeah, that's that's rather nice. I do like that. Uh, no light switches or anything that I can see. There are lights there, but there are lights here. Uh, so do we have light switches? Not that I can see. I'm guessing these come on automatically at night. Something I noticed and something that threw me off about the doors. This barn creaks. That is a really nice little sound effect uh, that's on this. And what we got down here, uh, we've got another barn. This just says Easy Shed on it. It does not have... Oh, no, it does. Oh, wow. And it's built underneath the main shed. That I like. So, yeah, you've got a nice big storage there. Double load. And they do have a light switch in here. Yes, so there is a light switch on this one. So we do have some light switches around here. Ah, oh, that might be a problem, though, if that... Is that the light switch for in here? No, it's not. Okay. So, presuming we have a light switch in here as well, I cannot see it. So, uh, yeah. Don't know where that is. We've got lights on there as well. So it looks like some of the lights might be automatic. Some of them might not. We'll just go turn this off. Uh, and then head back. But yeah, I like this little sword shed. That is that is quite nice. Uh, no sign of a grain store by the looks of things. So it looks like that, that long little shed you've got there. Uh, that appears to be where you would tip your grains and things. Um, if we head off down this way a little bit, does this just take us out to our fields? So yeah, it takes us out to some of our fields and our areas. But yeah, no apparent grain store on here. Let's reverse this up. And we'll head out and we'll have a look around the road. Oh, workshop in the middle here as well. Uh, really quite like that. So if you want to look at this, uh, you basically park this here. And around here. And yeah, we've got a workshop. Uh, absolutely brilliant. Good to have that. But yeah, no grain store, interestingly enough. So this, this kind of suggests this isn't um, a multiple fruit type farm uh it looks like you, you do one crop a year or something like that uh chickens here looks like a drop off point no drop off point here yeah there we go drop off point here so chickens uh and uh egg box there and then over here you've got your chicken feed so yeah chickens and sheep are the main animals at this farm here 
And if we get up this, uh, we've got... So nothing to our left. We will head to the right then and have a look down here. Yeah, looking at the map, there is, there's nothing marked on there as somewhere to tip either. So that is, uh, that is to be expected. It looks like there's another yard down to the left. Uh, church up here with what must be a cell point up this way. Which has a second way to it. And no idea. This must be a straw cell point or something like that. Let's uh, zoom in on the map a bit. Parson Parsonages. It does not tell me exactly what you sell at the parsonage. Um, we will I will have to have a go through and have a look at these I think a little bit later right we're gonna go south from here and you can begin to see the extensive bits of woodlands that are around here that if I remember on, on FS 17 had a nice little bit of detail to them uh, which you'd expect on a map that is gonna have a large amount of forestry on it you expect the forestry to have a little bit of detail to it and Let's, oh, we'll go right to the end first, actually. I was going to pull in there, but it uh, makes sense to go right to the end, I think. And we'll turn off here and into here. And this is, of course, the BGA. Two nice big silage clamps uh, to use. A nicely marked out area for picking up slurry. And a ground level point for tipping in that does this close it doesn't um but uh, yeah ground level bga this one uh really quite like that I, I i like it when you get that realism being able to tip a trailer load of uh silage into the bga that is that is quite nice uh then over here we've got another cell point so we've got this one here and then down the side this i believe i don't know if that will allow me to fill into this uh but that looks like that's the lime fill station uh, if you want to get the lime down here there's there's good sounds on this map that's that's something that i'm uh, that that a lot of maps don't get right is is having a the right sound effects at the right place they can come in a little suddenly but i do like that they're there uh it it does add to the map quite nicely um we have another cell point here again i'm not 100 percent sure and i know that you, the easiest way to do this is to pop into here uh pop here and you can see what all of these places do for example the parsonage uh here that uh, is a sell point for eggs and milk, which makes sense to be how it is. Um, but uh, yeah, it's not always obvious when you're at the sell point like this exactly what sells here. I don't think that's an issue. Um, as long as the sell point is marked out well and you can see exactly where you need to drop off what you're dropping off, uh, that I think is far, far more important than, than being able to to tell what it is you can drop off there just by looking at it we got a shed on the side of the road here now what a, one thing i want to check with places like this is does this is this a working shed or is this just for show it would look like it's a working shed and it is so there are areas on this map that you can buy extra for storage and things like that uh that works quite well that is a little bit of a weird thing going through the edge of the barn like that. Yeah. The doors, the doors are set a little bit further back than I'd like on that model. Um, but otherwise, yeah. It's, uh, it is nice. I love that view. I, it, in seasons in the snow which invariably with the canadian map you're going to get snow uh if you put the right geo in uh is just it's gonna be a stunning map this really is uh we've got another farm around here now the interesting thing here is this definitely looks like 
one of the farms uh, that, uh, that, that has animals and things in here. And it looks like it's cows. Yeah, so this is cows. Now, if we look on the map, it's not marked as a cow map on the f map. Whereas the pigs are, and I'm wondering, yeah, we own that. So we're going to do a little bit of experiment here. We've got 200, uh, sorry, 200 and 2,040 here. So we're going to need to add some money in. So we'll add in 2,000, two, uh, sorry, 202,400. And let's see exactly what happens if we purchase this yes i would and there it is there's the cow farm assigned to our farm more and more maps are doing this and it's and it's absolutely brilliant uh it's it's one of the things i love about six Ashes. you buy the farm you buy the animal area with it and similarly i think if we sell the farm we can sell the farm and it disappears that i love that is absolutely brilliant it makes it really really easy in multiplayer as well because all you do is uh, if you have multiple farms and they go and buy an area they buy that farm with the uh, uh, they buy that uh, those animals with that land and we're seeing it more with um i'm hoping we're actually uh, gonna be able to see it more with uh, things like sheds and things like that this is a nice worn shed is there in the shed we've just seen down the road? Which which I would say is a bit light on detail. This one is brilliant. I like that. That is a nice weathered shed. So there are definitely some some bits of this map that have had some very nice detail updates. Uh, and that I like very, very much. That is uh, That is quite cool. Uh, nice big silage pit here or silage clamp here as well um, Yeah, good looking cow farm this and uh, I think a nice place to start if you wanted to We want to head up this way though. We are gonna venture into the woodlands when we get towards the top of the map uh, We do have another cell point here Which is ah, Which is marked here and this Okay, so this I can tell what goes here We've got this massive great cotton bale. I would be amazed if this house here wasn't the sell point for your wool and uh, bits like that. Uh, so looking quite good from that point of view. We are going to head north from here. Yeah, there are some, some very big fields on here. I think uh, as you progress, you're going to want... You're going to want equipment from very small to very big based on the size of uh, some of the land around here. This is the big farm. We own this as well. In here. Wow. Okay. Whoa. This is quite a big. This is a bigger area than I realized. And that is a huge shed. So I open this up, I guess. Yeah. Nice little bit of animation for that. A really nice big shed here. Lots of pig food you start with. So, yeah, new farmer, you start with pigs as well. Uh, we have, as always... Oh, you don't see this in maps so much anymore. And so close. Uh, uh, but um, another repair station here. But this does not open for the far end of this so did i miss because we do have stuff in this shed did i miss a door at the end yes i did there we go open that up and yeah we have uh oh we have a large storage area here so this is our grain store this is where our crops go in fact m almost any crops go there yeah those are nice doors i I would have liked the wooden creak on that. That's more of a gate sound on those doors. But, uh, you know, a minor gripe. A minor issue. Uh, do these open? Yeah, I think some of the sounds are a little off. 
Uh, but we do have a lot of nice pigs on here. Uh, which is uh, great. I do like to see a, a map with new farmers starting with animals. Uh, and starting with the bales and the equipment and everything to get them going. And speaking of grain store earlier, here we go. This is our grain store. So that is a root crop storage over there. This is our grain store. Looks like most of the stuff and most of your time is set up to be around this shed, which is interesting because all of your equipment is at the uh, at the other farm. So it's uh, it's an, an interesting split between the two. I think you're going to end up moving all of your equipment down to this farm here. And, and running it from the pig farm if you're getting into the bigger stuff. Uh, for starting, it looks like you're better off down at the sheep farm. But, uh, yeah, it's uh, it's one of those, really. Now, do we have... We don't have anything off here, so I'm not going to go into the woodlands that way. I'm going to go into the woodlands at the top of the map. And we'll have a look at them up there. Now, get the little map back on. Because uh, it is just this one big main road that, that goes up the map. And, uh, and yeah, it is... Uh, well, let's have a look at the stuff at the side. It is, it is pr pretty stunning, this map, in places. Uh, set against the, uh, the background of those mountains is, uh, is, is really nice. And uh, in all that, I've missed my turning. So uh, we're going to spin this round and head back. And uh, and head down the road here, which sort of zigzags. I thought it was a little bit further. Yeah, there it is. Right here. And down here, this is where we will find the animal market. And, uh, and there's another sell point by the looks of things. Just bring this up here. Ah, oh. so there's there's some very nice bits of attention to detail in here. Wow, I am getting so lost. Uh, but there's some very nice bits of attention to detail in here. Uh, I think there are a few minor issues. Um, nothing that's uh, nothing that's a, a game breaker at, by any means. Um, but uh, certainly a lot of stuff to recommend on this map. I think, especially if you want to do forestry. Forestry, this map looks like an absolute heaven to do. Uh, we've got... So, yeah, we've got cell point here. And then around the back here, I think this is the animals. Uh, yeah, this is the animals. So, we've got uh, three different bits. Seems to be missing the translation on the pig area for uh for pigs so you got large sheep pasture uh sh schweinstuhl which is uh, is course german for uh for pigsty uh and chicken coop so uh yeah there does seem to be a small translation issue but uh otherwise uh otherwise yeah again a small thing it and it is a small thing i want to to make sure uh, I, uh, I don't know what this must be a cell point for something else it's it's weird there are two cell points right next to each other there uh, and then I just want to have a quick look there's some nice little bits the 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 underfoot stuff is good I like that I think I'd like a little more detail in these woodlands uh, a few, I mean, we've got a large open area here. I think I'd like a bit of grass or something in here. So there's, there again, a little bit, it's, for, for detail that's been added over the rest of this map is really nice. But I'd like to see some, I'd like to have seen some more of this kind of detail that we have along the roadsides in the woodland. In the woodlands itself uh, would have been quite nice. Um... But otherwise, just driving down these roads, nice logging tracks. It's it, it's a nice map. It really is. And just driving around it, there's there's 
there's some nice bits of detail to it. Um, I think it's it's one of those maps that you scratch the surface a little bit and you do find things that I would that I would probably update or change. Uh, I just want to check. Yeah, it is it is a case of there's a lot of attention to detail around the roadsides in these woodland areas, but you get into them and they're a little bit bare for my liking. It's one of those, uh, one of those bits you. Uh, where I always evaluate the attention to detail on a map as to how much detail is put into places like the woodlands where people might not spend a lot of time and and on this map it's one of those things where I go well one of the big things about the map is 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 forestry and, and logging so I would like to see a little bit more detail inside those areas as well otherwise as I said, it's a beautiful map. Let's head up this way. We've got no cell points here. Uh, we have got... So how do we get to those cell points up here? I'm guessing we head up this road here and through this woodlands. I do like how the fields come right up to the roadside in place. That is very nice. I've missed a turning is what I've done. So we'll go across the grass here because it's all off the side of the road here. And this is a large group of cell points and a uh, point for the, sh oh, for the shop. Is this where we purchase our vehicles? I should know that because obviously I picked this up. But uh yeah, this is this is the shop here. So it's got a garage. Uh, we've got uh, oh, we've got the sawmill up the top here. This is going to be an important bit for this map. Where is our cell points for stuff here? Oh, wait, right down the back here, into uh, into the water is where the cell point for the logs are. Do we have anywhere? You see, this has some nice detail to it. Again, around this area. But you walk through and it's, it disappears. Uh, yeah, we've got nothing around here. Where is the cell point for the wood chips? Is there a wood chip cell point here? There's, there's something up this way. I mean, this here, right here. That's a cell point. <laughs> I don't know where this cell point is for the wood chips. I can't find that. That's weird, and it's not marked around here. I don't know if there is or is any thing for wood chips around here maybe i missed it uh but we do have two other cell points we've got a cell point here uh so that's i'm not sure what that is a cell point for but it is definitely a cell point and then we've got the cell point here as well um so yeah that is a good overview of this map i think I'm just going to drive around the site here. So there is a lot of nice detail to it. Um, there, it, it does lack in a couple of places, and there are a couple. Ah, here we go. Cell point. Not marked on the map. <laughs> That's there's the... Yeah, I knew I was going to turn around that corner and find that. Um, so, uh, yeah, as I was saying... A nice map, good level of detail of where it counts, uh, lacking in a couple of places, but nowhere that is uh, nowhere is what I, I would call a game breaker, or uh, or uh, or something that would stop me from wanting to play this map uh, at all. Um, I think it would be great for logging. I mean, there is a lot of forestry on this, uh, and then th from that point of view, let's have a quick look and see what we've got in our 
uh equipment wise so in our garage let's have a look so we start off with a john deere 6250r uh with a good 300 horsepower on that um a case maxim cbx 115 uh with about half the, yeah half the horsepower of the uh the 6r a tx32 combine a uh a lizard pickup 2014 a uh, SEK802 trailer, a TX32 uh, header for the four, yeah the four meter one, and the Zeigler um, for 3.4 for corn. We've got a uh, Grimmer SE260 uh, potato harvester. Great to see a map starting with potatoes. Uh, along with a, uh, a Grimmer GL420 to plant them, and a, K a Grimmer KS75-4 uh, topper as well to uh, make sure that you can harvest your potatoes. Uh, a Kalma L300 3-meter cultivator, an Amazon D830 3-meter seeder, uh, and an Amazon ED 3000-C 3-meter planter. So lots of smaller stuff that this starts off with that uh that john deere 6r massive overkill for these i think i would kind of like to have seen with this this kind of equipment i think maybe a 6m rather than a 6r to start with unless it's needed for no even this is only 110 horsepower 150 for this so yeah maybe a, a 6m i think i'd have preferred to have started with uh Breedle k105 uh, solid fertilizer and lime spreader, uh, New Holland disc bind mower, uh, GF8720 uh, Kuhn tether, and a Kuhn SR314 Winra. Light. That is very appropriate for this map. Um, a New Holland Roll Belt 150 baler, a DPW210 Bail trailer, uh, Joskin Aquatrans 7300S uh, water trailer, and I've said 30 front loader. I'm guessing that goes on the case. Uh, that has a universal bucket, um, and uh, we've got the Warzy Bale Spike, which comes with the Warzy Bale Shredder, um, which means we don't really actually need this Bale Spike here. Uh, this stole one uh stole pallet fork as well uh a warzy de 551 uh, fl um that is the the bale shredder that goes with the warzy spikes uh a john deere pickup one uh 11 uh, front weight an sb 700 front weight as well uh, a grimmer sl 80 22 quantum uh, conveyor belt uh, along with the lizard s uh, 710 uh, and uh, and yeah that's it i do like for the most part i like the equipment setup on here i think this is a little bit of overkill the 6r uh, as i said i'd have probably gone with the 6m with this setup but otherwise having too much power isn't a big issue at all it's not like we've got an underpowered tractor here we've got an overpowered one and that is absolutely fine um but uh yeah i like that that is uh that is a nice setup uh good for you starting with animals starting with a lot of pigs and a lot of sheep uh it's great uh, to see that all of that stuff is there and available to you so uh yeah overall what do i think i think this is a nice map this is uh this is a great map especially if you're looking for something canadian so something north american and something that has a lot of forestry available to you uh this is a great map for that however i think it's a great map just in general uh, i think you could have a lot of fun on here everything is nice and central i love that you buy uh the animal areas with the land so uh there's no need to uh sell stuff like that looks like the buildings aren't placeables um looks like they're built in but when you're buying the land and uh and, and 
places like the animal places buy with the land like that that is not a problem um uh, and there is plenty of space to expand your farm on this if you wanted to so uh yeah i recommend this map this is available for pc and mac only unfortunately um and available from the giants mod hub Her link is down in the description head over there and download it if you fancy having a go for now though i'm gonna leave this here so all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching i hope you've enjoyed this first look please give it a like drop us a comment and give it a share and for all the latest videos from virtual farmer please subscribe to the channel ring that bell and I will see you next time. Goodbye.